Hey guys, welcome back to Wine at the Farm where we are tasting fantastic wines that are located at Ella Community Pharmacy, Westfield. I'm Dr. Eric. And I'm Dr. Becca. And today, stay tuned for something fantastic. This wonderful red blend wine from Sonoma, Angels and Cowboys, proprietary red blend. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Sorry, a little rusty. One week without Dr. Becca, the chemistry, you know, just starts failing on me. Sorry, I left. <laughs> so, why did you pick this one? That's a good question. I picked this red blend because, A, we've never had a proprietary red blend. So, what does that mean? It means that the wine company owns all the ingredients in the recipe in the amounts that they're used. So, I know it was a little confusing, but the grapes and the percentages of each grape. So, this one's got a lot in there. It's a really cool, plain, simple label. And honestly, I had a little sneak peek of this and I was really excited to then <laughs> have this presented for this video. So thanks again to Crossroad Vintners for hooking us up. Travis, thanks for picking wonderful wines once again for us to try. So to tie in the, when you're talking about the proprietary blend, the Grapes that are included in this are Zinfandel, Petite Syrah, Syrah, Grenache, Carinine, and Merlot. I don't speak French, so oh, man, did the best I could. How the... much more time do you need to oh, get caught up? A lot. Man. Very a lot. So they give us the grapes that are in, but they don't tell us how much of any of them are in there. Right. So they're locking it down. But stay tuned. Find out how much of a huge discount we are giving on this wine. The biggest yet of a sale that we have had on any bottle of wine. We're super excited to share this one with you guys. So what are your thoughts? I think it's, I mean, it's lighter than I was thinking, but when you open the bottle, the smell was just fantastic. Oh my gosh. The smell was absolutely incredible. My mouth immediately started water, watering from the moment the bottle popped. Well, do we want to talk about the flavors that are we're supposed to be tasting? Sure, go for it. Okay, so it has a dark cherry mahogany color. So yeah, I can yeah, see that. Absolutely. Um, let's see. Harnesses the volume and tames the power. They age in French oak with that imparts robust vanilla, amber honey, and roasted hazelnut, as well as a velvety mouthfeel. Yeah. Do you agree? I can get behind that velvety mouthfeel. Yeah. That's kind of cool. <laughs> to be honest, it's like, it, it's just a little bit thicker is what I would say for a wine. Mm -hmm. um, not at all that this is like syrupy. That is not <laughs> where I'm going. It's just, you can definitely feel a little bit more of it like hanging around on the top of your mouth, on your tongue. The flavor sticks with you. Yeah. Um, sweet hibiscus juice, black currant conserves, and red flesh plum. Nice. That's a lot of flavors. Yeah. Well, they have so many different grapes in there. Yeah. I mean, it's proprietary, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so in regards to each of these, the, oh my gosh, I just had a brain fart. What is this called? An aerator. An aerator. The aerated version of this definitely calms down the acidity as try. well as like the fruitiness, which we've noticed a lot. Um, I kind of enjoy it not aerated. I think this one's kind of winning out for me. It definitely is a lot drier, which it usually is, but I feel like that really at the end, you can like feel the dryness. Is This yes. has more of that like velvety mouthfeel yes. that they talk about. I can get behind that. This is the velvet. This definitely brings out the wood. Uh, you can definitely taste the French oak, which is one of my favorite woods, hands down to have anything put into. Yeah. Um, it just smells fantastic. Yeah. You gonna review it? I'll review it. I'm gonna give it a rating of a four out of five. The reason being, it is absolutely wonderful. It's probably one of my favorite red blends we have had. Would I drink it on most days? Absolutely. I drink it with a lot of different meals. I mean, this on like a Firestone pizza. Oh my oh. gosh, heaven on earth. That, the whole experience would be a five out of five, especially made <laughs> at home. Absolutely amazing. Um, would I have it just by itself? Yeah, I, I would definitely not 
necessarily probably, you know, want to focus on this the whole night, but a nice big glass of this at the end of the evening, yeah. definitely a good wine. But like I said last week, I'm being more critical of my wines. I want it to be like, I can't live without it for a number five. This one, I definitely want it in my life, but not to the same extent. I'm going to give it a four. I mean, it's definitely a very good red blend. Not my favorite. I have my favorite red blend, but... <laughs> Which everybody it's, keeps buying. I know, but this is def this is delicious. So yeah, and you said something about major discount. Yeah, biggest sale per dollar price we have had in the store. So we are going to drop this down four dollars. It is a little bit on the more expensive side, but the reason why we brought it in is because it is wonderful and it belonged on our shelves. So we're going from twenty three ninety nine down to nineteen ninety nine. Four weeks, like everything we do in the store, it's on sale. If you guys are out there and you like reds, this is pretty wonderful and mm -hmm. it's pretty wild. I mean, there aren't very many red blends that have this many different types of grapes no, in there yeah. and really bring together just a wonderful finish. Yeah, I feel like you get like Syrahs and Grenaches thrown together, but then to throw a Zinfandel and some Merlot in there, yeah, pretty fun. Absolutely fun. <laughs> so. We've got something else on the agenda that we want to put a little teaser out there for for next week. Something else fun. Yeah. Our marketing director said, you guys got to get this done. So what are we doing next week? So next week we're having some special guests. <gasps> oh boy. Should we tell them or should we no. make, them wait? make them wait? No. They got to wait they it out. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Seven weeks. Oh, seven weeks. <laughs> seven seven <days. laughs> weeks from now we're going to have some special guests because yeah, we can't plan weeks. anything. Yeah. No. <laughs> got to give us time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Amazing. next week's special guest, so you'll definitely want to stay tuned for next week because I think it'll be pretty entertaining. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> going to be absolutely hysterical. Neither of these two have time in front of the camera, and they have not had any time really together. No. So this will be great. I am looking forward to it, absolutely. So, other than that, if you like the videos, please smash that like button. We appreciate it. And we know that there are people out there that have friends that like wine and live in Hamilton County. Tag them below in the comment section. Come on, let's have some fun. Stop on in, grab yourself a bottle. We'll see you next time, guys.